Hey guys, I'm actually waiting for this laptop to boot up. I just wiped out Windows 7 on this laptop and I'm installing Linux Lite, the latest Linux Lite, on this machine because this machine is a rather old machine and Windows 7 was really struggling so I'm seeing if I can't resurrect this machine with Linux. That's our topic for the day. Okay, so, still waiting for this machine to boot up. It actually took quite some time for this machine to boot up here. Uh, it took at least a minute, maybe a little more than a minute. So, not a good sign, uh, <laughs> but this is an old machine. This is a Gateway. The model number is NV75S25U. I tried to uh, do a quick Google search for that to see if it could give me some indication of how old this machine is, but... It's a Gateway. Gateway was sold to Acer back in 2007. Now they continue to produce some machines under the Gateway brand for a few years after that, but by, I think, 2011, they, they even quit doing that. Uh, so Gateway has been gone for, for many years now. Uh, also, this thing came pre-installed with Windows 7. Uh, Windows 8 came out in 2009. Now some machines were still being put out with Windows 7 in 2009, or after 2009. But, again, gives us some indication of maybe the date of this machine. It is running an AMD A6 processor. That's a dual-core AMD A6 processor. Um, it's using onboard graphics. The hard drive is only a 320-gig hard drive. That's a pretty small hard drive. Even 10 years ago, that's kind of a small hard drive. So, I would guess that this machine is probably somewhere in the 8 to 10-year-old range. Maybe... It's hard, hard to say for sure, but anyway, Windows 7 was really struggling on this family member's computer, and they asked me to install Linux on it to see if I could resurrect this machine, so that's what we're doing today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install TeamViewer on this machine and on my host machine, my main production machine. That way I can record uh, the desktop of this machine here inside OPS so you guys can, can see a little bit of what's going on with this this machine. I know TeamViewer, some of you are going to say that's not a, a free and open source program, and it's not, but you know what? It does work for remote desktop, and it's in the Arch repos, which is what I'm using on my host machine, Manjaro, and it, they have dev packages, so it was very quick to install and set up, so I'm going to go with TeamViewer. Okay, so I've got TeamViewer up, and I've got our machines connected here. Uh, this makes recording the desktop a little easier, because now I can show you guys this. Alright, so this is of course the laptop. Uh, the, the screen, by the way, uh, it's a 17 inch screen on this gateway here. So it's actually, uh, actually, actually it's a nice machine as far as the look and feel. The keyboard's nice. Uh, I mean it's a, got some, some scratches. I mean it, it has seen some use, but as far as the chassis and the screen is in perfect shape. There's no like dead pixels or any dead spots or anything. So the machine although it's seen some use, is in pretty good shape. It just was really struggling with Windows 7. It was really slow, probably was infected. Uh, Linux Lite, though, I mean, of course, I'm running this, you know, with TeamViewer here, so it might be a little sluggish, but you know what? Everything just kind of works. Again, not a very good processor, a AMD A6 dual core, and only three gigs of memory. Let me pull up a terminal here. Show you guys a little more information. So this is, of course, Linux Lite uh, 4.0, the very latest Linux Lite. And it uses the XFCE desktop environment, so a lightweight desktop environment. I wanted something light for this machine because of how old it was. I could have gone a bit lighter with something like LXDE or even like a window manager only uh, distro, maybe something that uses OpenBox or Fluxbox or something like that. But you know, for me, that would probably be fine, but for the family member that I was uh, trying to resurrect this machine for, you know, those desktops are probably a little too minimal, you know, uh, for, for this user. So XFCE, they were coming from Windows 7. I think they'll be very comfortable with XFCE. And again, XFCE is light enough. It, it should work on this machine. So uh, let's take a look at you know some system info here so I'm just gonna type LSCPU uh, see what it tells us okay the uh, CPU AMD A6 dash 
3420M, so it's one of the APUs. It's using the Radeon, onboard Radeon graphics. Uh, and that's pretty much all that's going to tell us. HTOP will tell us, you know, it'll show us the two cores. Uh, CPU, once it settles down here, is pretty low, you know, single digits, hovering between 5 and 10% for the most part. And that's with me, you know, viewing everything through TeamViewer. TeamViewer is running on the laptop and, of course, on my desktop here. We're remotely connected. It's only, it's only using 526 megs of the 3 gigs of memory on that machine. So uh, memory usage is, is actually pretty good. Uh, let me, it's asking for confirmation. Do I want to close the terminal window? Yep, don't, a, don't ask me that again. Now I haven't done really much of anything to this machine since uh, wiping Windows out and putting Linux Lite on it. But it seems to be functioning. I've played around with it, uh, rebooted it a couple of times, updated the system to it. Needed, uh, I don't know, there were about 80 packages to update. So since the release of Linux Lite 4.0 to today, you know, about 80 packages needed uh, updating. Uh, as far as programs, uh, the only thing that was not installed out of the box that I installed, TeamViewer. That's it. And TeamViewer is great to have on this machine anyway, other than I wanted to use TeamViewer to record this video because it made things a little easier. Once I give this lap laptop back to the owner, if for some reason there's ever a problem with it or if I want to remotely uh, support the machine or update the machine, I have that ability now. So, But Linux Lite, uh, it's not a Linux Lite review, but you know, Linux Lite has, you know, standard XFCE programs installed. Uh, let's see, for this person, they're mainly, you know, your average computer user, meaning they're not a geek at all. The main thing they're going to need, the Firefox web browser, you know, to access things like Facebook and YouTube and that sort of thing. Uh, multimedia programs, they'll probably, you know, use VLC to listen to uh, audio and to watch movies. Uh, Office is here, the LibreOffice suite, document, presentation, spreadsheet. And that's probably really all they'll need. Uh, you know, if I get some feedback from them about, you know, they need this or that installed on the system, again, because I have TeamViewer on their machine now, I can just remotely log into their machine and install for them whatever. Uh, all in all, though, I'm pretty happy with the uh, couple of hours I've spent here uh, on their laptop. I think that this person will be very happy when they're, they get their machine back. Uh, I don't think they're going to miss Windows really at all. Uh, if there are some some things that they miss, you know, things that they were used to in Windows that are not going to be present in Linux, I will try to uh, to fix that those situations as they come up, if possible. Uh, now, one thing I, I will say: uh, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video saying I wanted to get some old hardware. For testing purposes, you know, I really wanted like some old desktops, and in particular, I wanted some old laptops uh, that you know came pre-installed with Windows back in the day, and they're just struggling now. And a lot of people just throw these machines away, and that's what was going to happen with this machine because it didn't function correctly at all. And this is the these are the kinds of machines that ended up uh, either just getting completely trashed and you know thrown away, or somebody sells them for dirt cheap because it's essentially junk. It's garbage. Well, no, it's not. Linux revives these machines. I mentioned uh, I, I've actually got a little money set aside. I was going to buy some old machines of my own uh, to test out distros, especially distros, minimal distros that are aimed at re reviving these older machines. Distros like Linux Lite, for example. I have not purchased any machines as of yet. I've been looking around and I actually found a guy selling two laptops as a package deal on eBay the other day for Two laptops, fully functional laptops, you know, that actually had hard drives and everything, displays, and he was selling them for $200. So that's $200 for two laptops. I forget the brand because this has been a few days ago. And I went ahead and thought, well, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, even if one of them's kind of crappy, maybe the other one will be all right. But having two different machines, why not? So I went ahead and hit the buy now button on eBay and bought it. And the next day I got an email from the guy saying he had to refund uh, and cancel that order because he actually didn't own those machines anymore. He'd actually sold them two weeks prior, but the listing was still up on eBay. So I'm still looking around for machines to buy uh, personally, but you know, of course, you know, friends and family have their old machines and 
you know, I'm probably going to spend a couple of days with this machine here, you know, before I give it back to them to play around in. Anyway, but uh, look for more of this kind of content as far as, you know, some older hardware, especially once I get machines of my own that I can really play with. Uh, I would like to get some ancient machines and test out distros like Puppy, uh, Antics, you know, those kinds of distros, those minimal distros. You guys know I love those things. I love those things on modern hardware. I really want to try them out, you know, on machines that are 10, 12, 15 years old. So that's what I'm doing right now. Before I go, I do need to give a special thanks to my patrons, all my Patreon supporters. David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, A.K., Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B., Marcus, Interceptor, Tubella, and Hume. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.